Hello everyone. This is Dr. Priyanka Singh from the Department of Chemistry, Government Digvijay PG Autonomous College, Rajnamgaon, Chhattisgarh. Today we'll discuss about Frank Ordon principle. Uh, Frank Ordon principle is a rule used in spectroscopy and quantum chemistry. It explains the intensity of vibronic transitions now what are vibronic transitions Vib- uh, vibrational plus electronic transitions are known as vibronic transitions that means if vibrational transitions are accompanying electronic transitions then that might be that is called as vibronic transition simultaneous changes in electronic and vibrational energy levels of a molecule due to absorption or emission of a photon is known as vibronic transition this means the electronic and vibrational energy level of a molecule are changing at the same time it might be due to the absorption of photon or due to the emission of photon and uh, since these two energy levels are changing together this is known as vibronic transition now comes the statement the statement of frank condon principle says that during an electronic transition a change from one vibrational energy level to another will be more likely to happen if the two vibrational wave functions overlap more significantly that means if an electronic transition is take, uh, taking place from the ground state to the excited state then if the vibrational energy levels are changing in the ground state and in the excited state then those uh, the wave function of those vibrational levels should overlap with each other so that the transition could take place smoothly classical interpretation according to the iupac compendium of chemical terminology second edition 1997 the frank condon principle is the approximation that an electronic transition is most likely to occur without changes in the position of the nuclei in the molecular entity and its environment uh, we have seen in born of an himer approximation that uh, the nuclear and electronic motions are assumed to be mechanically separable that means during the time an electron moves or shows transition from low energy level to higher energy level the nucleus can be assumed to have a fixed position it won't show any transition during uh, the transition of an electron since because the electron is lighter as compared to the bulkier nucleus so the frank condon principle says the same thing that an electronic transition takes place without change in the nuclear position the resulting state is called a frank condon state and the transition involved is a vertical transition we'll see vertical transition in the coming slides the quantum mechanical formulation of this principle is that the intensity of a vibronic transition is proportional to the square of the overlap integral between the vibrational wave functions of the two state that are involved in the transition during the statement of a frank condon principle we have already seen that the two vibrational levels of the ground electronic and the excited electronic state should be overlapping with each other so that the transition vibronic transition could take place the quantum mechanical formulation says that the intensity of that vibronic transition which we are talking about is directly proportional to the square of the overlap integral of wave functions of the two vibrational energy levels of the ground energy state and the excited energy state so here we are uh, going one step ahead in the last uh, statement we have seen the overlapping of the vibrational wave functions and here we are seeing that the intensity of vibronic transition is directly proportional to the square of overlap integral of the uh, wave function to so the two vibrational energy levels involved in this process semi classical interpretation by uh, electronic transitions are necessarily instantaneous as compared to the time scale of nuclear motion uh, we have already talked about it uh, that uh, the nucleus is heavy and electron is lighter 
so the speed of electron is much more than that of nucleus so when electron undergoes any transition then we can assume the nucleus to be fixed this is the same thing that during an electronic transition which is instantaneous because uh, it takes place so speedily that it can be taken as instantaneous the nucleus remains fixed if the vibrational level of a molecule changes during an electronic transition we have seen that uh, if the electronic transition is taking fr place from the ground to the excited state and vibrational energy levels are changing that is we are talking about vibronic transitions the new vibrational level must be instantaneous compatible with the nuclear position and momenta of initial vibrational level now we are seeing that the uh, along with overlapping of the wave functions of the vibrational energy levels involved the vibrational levels must be compatible in terms of what in terms of the nuclear position and the initial momenta of and the momenta of the initial vibrate uh, vibrational level the vibrations of a molecule are considered sim similar to simple harmonic oscillator vibrations are taking place and we know vibrations uh, are vibration can be defined as if a mole if an atom of a molecule shows to and fro motion from the equilibrium position then it is called as vibration so the vibrations of a molecule are, can be termed as sim being similar to the simple harmonic oscillator the necessary conditions can occur at the turning points where the momentum is zero which kind of necessary conditions the condition which is being shown in the blue color box that the compatibility should be with respect to the nuclear position and moment of initial vibrational level these two conditions are met at the turning points of the potential energy diagram now coming to the explanation of frank condon principle electronic states are represented by mohr's potential energy curves that is known that would be known to all of you that the energy curves are represented through mohr's potential energy curves and this diagram shows the mohr's potential energy curve for the electronic ground state along with the excited state the ground state and the excited state both are shown to possess the vibrational energy levels no selection rule exists for vibrational transitions accompanying electronic transitions we have seen that vibrational transitions generally accompany certain selection rules for example del v is equal to plus minus 1 or plus minus 2 or 0 but in uh, here we are talking about vibrational transitions which are accompanying electronic transitions so here such kind of selection rules do not uh, are not applicable transition takes place between positions having maximum vibrational wave function the transition obviously transition with, would take place where the population of the electrons is maximum which can be represented by the wave functions so the transition takes place from the maximum wave function position if vibrational energy level v is equal to 0 transition takes place from the midpoint of potential energy curve because the wave function or the wave uh, the wave function is maximum at the midpoint of the potential energy curve for vibrational level 0 we'll see in the coming diagrams for v which is not equal to 0 that is for v vibrational levels 1 2 3 etc transition takes place from inflection points of the potential energy curve means transition takes place from the turning points of the curve that we on that also will see in the coming diagrams electronic transitions without change in nuclear position can be represented through vertical lines electronic transitions in which the position of the nucleus is not changing can be represented through vertical lines and are known as vertical transitions that is also given in the next diagram upcoming diagram internuclear distance does not change during a transition so this is also condition that uh, if a transition electronic or vibronic transition takes place the distance between the two nucleus won't change 
मोस्ट प्रोबेबल ट्रांजिशन टेक्स प्लेस फ्रॉम द मोस्ट प्रोबेबल इनिशियल स्टेट ऑब्वियसली द एनर्जी लेवल हैविंग द हाइस्ट पॉपुलेशन विल शो द मोस्ट प्रोबेबल विल बी द मोस्ट प्रोबेबल एनर्जी लेवल शोइंग द ट्रांजिशन दे फॉर द मोस्ट प्रोबेबल ट्रांजिशन विल डेफिनेटली टेक टेक प्लेस फ्रॉम द इनिशियल स्टेट विच हैज़ द मैक्सिमम प्रोबेबिलिटी एट लो टेम्परेचर molecules are present in the vibrational ground state at low temperature molecules have lower energy therefore the molecules will obviously be present in the ground state and uh, the ground vibrational state vibrational ground state that is v is equal to 0 has maximum probability at the center the final vibrational level during a transition depends on the relative position of the potential energy curves we have talked about about the vibrational level of the ground state now at this point is talking about the vibrational energy level of the final electronic state excited electronic state in which the transition is going to end up so the vibrational energy level where the transition takes place depends upon the relative position of the potential energy curves the final vibrational level having the maximum probability lies at the same value of re as the most probable configuration of the initial state if the equilibrium distance of the ground state is re then the vibrational level showing transition in the final state or in the excited ground uh, excited electronic state will be that which has the same value which lies at the same value of equilibrium distance re for v dash equal to 0 means for the vibrational level of the excited state equilibrium distance re is at the center whereas for other vibrational levels of the excited state v dash not equal to 0 or equal to 1 2 3 re is at Uh, present at the turning points uh since we have talked about the postulates or we can say the explanation this diagram the f- first diagram is for uh, show uh, it, it shows that the equilibrium distance of the ground energy state is equal to the equilibrium distance of the excited energy state re is equal to re dash the vibrational energy levels are shown as v equal to 0 1 2 3 and v dash is equal to 0 1 2 for the ground and the excited state respectively so if the electronic transition or vibronic transition we can say takes place from the vibrational energy level of the ground state v equal to 0 then we have already seen that transition for v equal to 0 takes place from the center because the population is maximum or the probability is maximum at the center and wave function is maximum at the center this is the second condition so we have already seen that uh, the final state where the vibronic transition would end up depends upon the relative position of the ground state and the excited state potential energy curves so therefore these uh, two conditions you can see in the first condition re is equal to re dash the potential energies are one upon the other and uh, in the second condition re dash is more as compared to re that is the potential energy curves are not over the same positions this is the vibronic transition starting from the center of v is equal to 0 to the excited electronic state so the transition is ending up at v dash is equal to 2 the second vibrational energy level because the uh, because uh, the because it is at a distance equal to re the equilibrium distance of the ground level now this is the third condition when re dash is much 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 higher than re so if transition in such case takes place from v equal to 
then it would end up to the dissociation limit of the molecule these three conditions show the effect of the equilibrium distance or the position of the potential energy curves of the uh, ground state and the excited state and uh, one thing more is clear uh, one thing more we'll deal is the spectrum obtained after these transitions uh, in this spectrum the transition probability of 0 to 0 transition is maximum as compared to 0 to 1 transition 0 comma 0 transition shows that the transition is taking place from the vibrational energy level 0 of the ground electronic state to the vibrational energy level V dash equal to 0 of the excited electronic state since the population is maximum at 0 it will end up uh, the transition will start from V equal to 0 and uh, the transition probability of V equal to 0 V0 zero, 0 to 0 is maximum therefore uh, the length of this spectral line is more as compared to 0 to 1 or 0 to 2 type of transitions in this spectrum we see that uh, the transition probability of 0 to 2 transition is maximum as compared to 0 to 1 and 0 to 0 transitions because because of the displacement of the potential energy curve from the equilibrium position as compared to the ground state ground excited and uh, ground electronic state since the probability of 0 to 2 transition is maximum spectral line for 0 to 2 transition has the maximum height and in this spectrum since the transition takes place 0 uh, takes place from v equal to 0 to the dissociation limit therefore the length of the spectral lines for higher transitions 0 to 5 0 to 6 such type of transitions is higher as compared to 0 to 0 and 0 to 1 type of transitions this diagram shows the ground state and excited state and uh, the dashed line shows the probability of density distribution for the molecule in this vibrational energy levels now I have told you so many times that if the transition takes place from V equal to 0 then it will take place from the center the reason behind is that the center at the center the wave uh, the probability or uh, density of electrons or the wave function is maximum here we are talking about three types of transitions 0 to 1 0 to 0 and 0 to 2 transition you can see from the diagram that the minimum energy level difference exists between 0 to 0 transition whereas the energy requirement increases in case of 0 to 1 transition which further increases in case of 0 to 2 transition so if we'll observe the spectrum absorption spectrum of these transitions then 0 to 0 transition will be shown at higher wavelength higher wavelength means lower energy because the energy gap is lower so it will be seen at higher wavelength whereas the 0 to 1 transition will be shown at a little smaller wavelength because more amount of energy is required for this transition and the 0 to transition 0 to 2 transition will occur at the lowest wavelength because it needs the highest energy